about raw food is like it eventually becomes your lifestyle and so at first you're thinking of it like a diet and you can fall off the wagon and you can shame yourself or whatever but eventually it's it's not so much about what you eat but it's about the way you think it's about the way you interact it's about you know I wouldn't even consider throwing such and such away or purchasing such and such because I have to throw it away you know I start making like all these lifestyle decisions that just because I eat a vegan cookie once does not mean I'm gonna stop recycling or stop growing my own food in my kitchen it's a lifestyle and there's no wagon to fall off of anymore I'm just raw I'm totally raw I'm a raw bee you know <laughs> thanks <laughs> you have a couple of books out can you talk a bit about them sure um, these are unique they're raw nutritional analysis uh, of the raw food diet, something that I think is really useful um, to people who want to know. I used to get asked, where do you get your protein from all the time? And I had these amazing philosophical answers, like, you know, why it shouldn't matter or why, you know, where I theoretically get my protein from. And I was kind of embarrassed when it came down to it that I actually don't know where my protein comes from. Lo and behold, Joanna Stephen uh, comes out of nowhere. Honestly, she found me and she's like, I'm a nutritional science enthusiast and what people want to know is what is actually the nutritional breakdown of your diet? And I said, you do it. I'll write down every <laughs> gram, every stupid ounce of everything I eat. And I did that for a month and then I did it for select um, seasons. So a month in spring, a month in autumn. And that's what you'll find uh, at Raw Guru right now is the spring and the autumn analysis. Uh, the spring analysis is geared more towards athletes as well. So I write in there, I do write my philosophy and I, I let you know how I feel and how I think and how I behave with the mental health thing. But we also detail like my workouts and my actual diet and the nutritional breakdown of that. And it's really important for some people to know how to answer the question, where do you get your protein from? Because saying, you know, concept just doesn't answer some people's question okay. <laughs> Definitely. so that's a cool thing the autumn analysis is the same thing only different because it has different writing in between the analysis and it's just focusing on a different time of year I try to eat so locally and in season and and organic of course mm -hmm. that I notice my diet changes drastically depending on what season it is mm -hmm. so spring is very different from summer is very different than autumn is very different from winter and I was like hey could we do this a, a subsection of an entire year so I can know because it's fascinating it's really fascinating <laughs> I'm not a big science geek in that way you know if it feels right I'm more I'm more prone to do it experiment and feel it and then keep it if it works but it is nice I'm, I'm an intellect I like to know mm -hmm. everybody likes to know so especially when you're asked and you start thinking about it kind of resides in the back of your mind somewhere. yeah yeah yeah. So what is a day in the life of Tanya K like? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. The last 24 hours I've been cross-eyed. I stayed up till 4 p.m. or 4 a.m. 4 p.m. 4 a.m. last night making a metal corset to grind on for the show hoping I would be cast. At 10 a.m. I get cast and I have to bump an audition up that it was supposed to be at 2.30 for a TV show on Nickelodeon um, to noon and somehow bust my butt to get to this audition and then bust my butt to get to the taping at CBS, so I never know. The day in the life of Tanya Kay is ultimate flexibility and in the meantime trying to keep everything else on as good and solid a routine as possible. So I'm open to, and it, and it happens all the time, I'm open to chaos, I'm open to variables, I invite them by being so prepared and so, you know, solid in a foundation, in a center, in a spiritual center too, that all these variables can come at me and it, it won't throw me too far. Okay. I can recover, you know, but I, I need like two days to recover even from this last 24 hours. I run a couple businesses. I'm a business owner. I'm a CEO. I'm a she-eo. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I run a couple businesses, which is actual, you know, like entrepreneurial work and it's fun. Um, and I have my acting career and my performance career, so who knows what that's gonna be from day to day. And then I'm just a normal person who likes raw food and likes to take road trips in Southern California, and I love organic and conscious wine. That's my 
my respite. I'm very into fermented things, by the way. <laughs> I ferment my own uh, cheese at home, raw vegan cheese. I ferment kombucha, I ferment kimchi, I ferment kefir. I really like that end of life like action right before <laughs> you don't want it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Alex knows a little too much about that. <laughs> a little too far, huh? <laughs> um, so where can people get your books or see, find oh. out about your businesses? Um, the ebooks are on Raw Guru. Okay. You can also go to my personal market where there are other items for sale like comic books that I've starred in and comic centerfolds and art pieces and posters that I've been on tour, you know, cool stuff. Um, that's at Chaos Market, K-A-Y-O-S-M-A-R-K-E-T.com. And my personal website, if you want to follow my artistic pursuits, which I'm so passionate about, that's been a passion since, you know, before I was in the double digits of age. Um, you can follow the artistic pursuits and performance accolades at uh, TanyaK.com, T-O-N-Y-A-K-A-Y.com. Woohoo! <laughs> so, what's your, do you have a favorite planet? A planet that you feel you vibe the best with? Oh, I like them all. I've been doing a lot of studying with the planets recently. It's cool <laughs> that you asked me that. I like them all. Like, uh, I think I need to work most with moon. Okay. I'm, I'm more thinking about what I need to work with. The moon. I need to work with moon. And it seems like Venus. Those receptive, like, soft planet planetary energies. Um, I'm really good with Aries. I'm really good with Mercury. I'm really good with Saturn. You know. And people love me on Sundays. Like, the sun <laughs> must be my day. Like, sun <laughs> must be awesome. But I don't necessarily feel awesome on sun. You know, Sundays. So, thanks for asking. You're welcome. <laughs> um, let me break down my uh, horoscope. I'm a Libra sun. I am an Aries moon. And I'm a Sagittarius rising. And I do know all the others, but we can leave the the primal three <laughs> for analysis. <laughs> <laughs> North and South Node, do you know those? Yeah, uh, South Node is Taurus, North is Scorpio. So that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I'm going there. <laughs> what other hobbies do you have? Um, <laughs> I drive, my car runs on waste vegetable oil. One of my cars runs on waste vegetable oil. So that's a hobby. It takes a lot of effort. There's a big learning curve. <laughs> um, but my other car is a 1965 Buick Riviera, classic hot rod. So I'm also restoring, like I'm kind of a like mechanical geek. I like, I like cars and I like the mechanics of cars. So that's why vegetable oil has fulfilled one side of that. And the other side is like the cruiser around Hollywood on Friday nights big purple car so that's fun um what are my other hobbies wine I, I love wine tasting trips it's not just about the wine it's about the driving through these gorgeous you know well for me southern california countrysides with friends in the car and just having that experience where how often do people go yeah let's just go for a drive you know but if you're like hey let's go for a drive to a vineyard they're like yeah and you get rewarded with just and the vineyards I go to are biodynamic and organic, so I learn a lot about people and the land and farming practices when I go. Um, I do a lot of ritual. I do a lot of spiritual work. I'm studying the planets, you know. Um, I'm, I'm always studying something. 